You know that moment? Cozy evening. Your favorite show queued up, snacks at the ready. And then, out of the blue, your furry pal decides to crank the volume to 11 with a spine tingling. Ow! Forget the TV drama, the real mystery is unfolding right in your living room. Why the impromptu performance? Are they trying out for Dog Idol or sending Morse code to the husky next door? It's a sound that's echoed through time, a blend of ancient wild calls and modern pupper emotion. Sure, it's great acoustics, but trust me, every howl has a story, a secret, a juicy piece of gossip. And if you've ever thought, hmm, what's got into Mr. Fluffles tonight? Well, hold on to your eardrums. We're about to unravel the epic saga of why our four-legged friends feel the urge to belt it out. You might be thinking, a nocturnal serenade from Bella is cute and all, but is she seeing ghost wolves? Well plot twist. There's a grain of truth there. You see, long before Bella was rocking her diamond studded collar, her ancestors were wild creatures that had no choice but to sing for their supper. Yep, I'm talking about Wolf, the soulful, mysterious ancestors of our fur baby. And while your dog might now be more into kibble than wild game, that primal call is still hardwired in their DNA. Now, wolves didn't howl because they fancied a tune after a nice elk dinner. Oh no. Howling for them was the ancient version of a WhatsApp group chat. Hey, I found food! Or, watch out, rival gang approaching! And sometimes a simple, where are you at? They were the original social network, long before we humans got the memo. But, and here's a fun tidbit for your next trivia night, while many think dogs howl because they're channeling their inner diva, or they've got a thorn in their paw, that's not the full picture. Sure, pain might trigger a vocal response, but often it's just old instincts making a cameo in the modern world. Picture it, a world without cell phones, just clear skies and echoing howls. Every time your pup belts out a tune, it's like they're honoring a time-honored tradition. So the next time Fido decides to go all out Pavarotti at 3 a.m., just remember, he's not off key, he's historically accurate. Now, if you've ever seen a group of teens communicate, you will know they have a secret language all their own. You'll hear things like, it's lit, and no cap, and wonder if maybe you've stumbled into an alternate universe. Well, surprise! Your dog has a secret language too, and howling is their group chat. Hold up. Before you jump to the conclusion that your dog's midnight arias mean they're auditioning for the canine voice or yearning for a long-lost wolf love, let's unravel some misconception. Not all howling is a melancholy solo. Sometimes it's just a group sing-along. Back in the wild wolf days, howling was the OG social network. It was less about feeling lonely, might delete later, and more about, hey, where's the pack at? It's like a furry face Facebook check-in, but with more harmonizing. Now, if you've heard that all howling is a sign of loneliness, think again. It's true that some howls are like a wolfish Marco Polo game, but often it's just a way for our pooches to reinforce social bond, kind of like a canine high five. When one dog starts, others join in, creating a ripple effect that's music to their ears even if it's not always to ours. So when the neighbor's chihuahua initiates a howl off and your great Dane enthusiastically joins, they're not necessarily lamenting their single status. They're just bonding over their shared playlist, celebrating the ancient art of pack communication. Now, we've heard the harmonious pack howls and the social check-ins, but have you considered that there might be a reason your dog suddenly becomes an opera singer when strangers are nearby? or why your Pomeranian might be trying to rival the town's fire truck siren. Ah, the plot thickens. Well, stick around, because there's more to this howling mystery than meets the ear. Ever noticed how in movies, right before something epic's about to go down, there's always that one ominous background score? Well, in the canine world, howling might just be their suspense soundtrack. You see, when Fido's out in the backyard and he lets out a howl that raises the hair on your arms, it's not just because he's had too many doggy treats and is now hallucinating. Howling can be a canine version of no trespassing signs. This a 
age-old vocalization serves as a hey, I'm here, and this is my turf announcement to any potential intruders. Think of it as a sonic fence that your dog deploys to demarcate their territory. That eerie midnight howl isn't just to creep you out. It's a statement that your dog is on guard duty. Now, let's bust a myth. Not every howl is a doom-laden sign. If you've ever thought, oh dear, Fluffy's howling again. She must be seeing doggy apparitions. Well, not quite. While dogs do have a heightened sense of the world around them, every howl isn't an alarm bell. Sometimes it's just them reacting to unfamiliar sounds or voices. Yes, even the distant ice cream truck jingle can get them going. But remember that episode where your dog decided to join the siren wail of a passing ambulance or police car? That's not them trying to sign up for emergency services. Dogs can sometimes mistake these sirens for other dogs howling. They might be thinking, hey, that's an interesting howl. Let's harmonize. Kind of like a canine karaoke. But just as howls can be an innocent reply to an ambulance, they can also be genuine alert signals. That deep, long, drawn out howl, it might be their way of saying something's up. Still, for all the clarity we think we might have gained, there's one howl that leaves many of us scratching our head. The howl that sounds eerily musical. Is your dog the Mozart of the canine world? Or is there much more to their musical musing? Join us as we tune into the melodies of doggy howls and what they might really mean. All right, so we've established that dogs have a sort of ancestral hotline through howling. They use it as a barking billboard for their territory and some Sometimes they're just harmonizing with the daily noises of the world. But let's tune into another frequency, the emotion station. When we're thrilled, we might jump for joy or perhaps belt out our favorite song at the top of our lungs. Shower concerts, anyone? Dogs, they might just howl. That soulful, melancholy howl might not always be a sign of your dog's existential crisis. Sometimes it's just them wearing their heart on their furry sleeve joy, excitement, anxiety, or even seeking attention. Howling can be their vocal emotion palette. You've probably heard the saying, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, dogs take this to another level. If you've ever had a jam session with your musical instruments or let out a high-pitched sound and suddenly your dog joined the chorus, you've witnessed imitative behavior firsthand. It's like they're thinking, oh, we're doing this now? Cool, I'm in. And sometimes they're just trying to communicate back to you or fit into the pack vibe. But the award for the most entertaining imitative behavior, it goes to dogs who howl at sirens. Picture this, an ambulance passes and it's like a switch flips in your dog's brain. Suddenly, they're the lead vocalist of their imaginary rock band. But why sirens? One theory is that these high-pitched sirens might resemble the howls of other dogs or even their ancestors, the wolves. So, in response, your furball might be saying, hey, distant cousin, I hear you. However, as charming or amusing as these howls can be, there's one more musical note we need to hit. Dogs might be our personal serenaders, but what happens when their howls become a full-blown concert? And more importantly, what are they trying to tell us with these melodious tunes? Let's dive into the symphony of howls and decode their musical connections in the next section. You know, it's easy to think of our dogs as the natural successors to the great musicians of yesteryears. Beethoven, Mozart, Fido? Sure, that last one might not have the same ring to it, but hear me out. There's an art to the howl of our pup, a symphony of emotions and messages waiting to be understood. Okay, maybe they aren't about to release a chart-topping hit, but a dog's howl is pretty musical in its own right. Ever notice how your pooch's howl can vary in pitch and duration? It's not just random. They're creating their playlist according to their feelings and surrounding. But what if Fido starts dropping beats more frequently than a DJ at a rave? Is he on the verge of stardom? Or is something else at play? Excessive howling could hint at separation anxiety boredom, or even certain medical issues. It's always wise to keep an ear out and consult your vet if Mr. Whiskers starts going full Adele on you. Now, on the topic of interpretation, 
Let's get our doggy dictionaries out. A prolonged, lonely howl could be your doggy's version of hello from the other side. Rapid sequences of howls might be signaling other dogs about their presence. And then there's that excited, playful howl. You know, the one that sounds like they just remembered tomorrow's a holiday. For those of us living in busy neighborhoods, it's also worth noting that while our fur baby's howls are the sweetest serenades to our ears, our neighbors might not always share the sentiment, especially at 2 a.m. So if your canine's crooning becomes a potential disturbance, it might be time to explore some training techniques or even consider soundproofing their favorite howling spots. In the end, every howl, every bark, and even every whimper is a note in the soundtrack of our dog's lives. By tuning in to their unique frequencies and understanding the melodies behind them, we not only become better pet parents, but also get a VIP pass to the most exclusive concert in town, the heartwarming harmonies of our four-legged friends. And there you have it, folks. The next time your dog kicks off a howling session, you'll know just how to join the band or maybe even conduct the orchestra. From ancestral calls to musical interludes, the world of dog howls is as varied as it is vocal. Just remember to keep your applause for the end.